about this because on the topic of fashion for a start, these huge companies have really leaned into their diversity inclusion marketing exercise where lingerie mm -hmm. models are now wearing a size 18 and above and men, men are modeling women's bras. Now you might say, oh, well, it's just sensible capitalism, you know, the, the market clearly wants this, but that's actually not the case. We have seen scandal after scandal where each of these brands mm -hmm. has been attacked by a massive media social, a social media storm. Their customers are walking away in droves. People saying, I'm never going to buy from you again because I disagree with this. So it's not popular. It's not coming from customer demand. So, Lani, is this push being corrupted by political motivations? Like, is this a political movement, essentially? My personal view is that it absolutely is, because as you say, it has, doesn't come from the customers. You know, I don't want to see a man modelling a women's bikini, tucking his thing. And it, these people are such a small, um, a small, small minority that you're not, these companies aren't actually advertising to them. They're not trying to get these people to buy their clothes because the average woman doesn't look like that. You know, the average woman isn't morbidly, unhealthily obese. So why are they pushing it? And it and it's got to be, you know, maybe it's for the DEI scores, um, so they, they can keep getting their in, keeping their investors happy. Um, you know, the investors like BlackRock that go by these diversity inclusion scores. Um, or is it, you know, a push again, from Big Pharma to just say, look, let's create some more customers within, you know, around the world, because, you know, these unhealthy people, they're really, you know, helping our profits. So um, it's hard for me to figure out exactly where it's coming from. But, you know, there's, it's not natural. It's not consumer led. I don't know what that maybe it's the shop value. Maybe it's like, you know, if, if we put this morbidly obese person on, if we put this this male uh, in a bikini or in lingerie, we're going to be talked about all over Twitter. We're going to get more publicity from it. Then it's going to go into the mainstream media. Then we're going to get talked about. And, you know, they just think all good publicity is all publicity is good publicity. Well, let me is it one of them? Let me. <laughs> Sorry. Let me frame it in the Marxist view, where families are powerful and they challenge the state, so they get rid of families. Well, a beautiful woman mm -hmm. uh, is a challenge to the political narrative. A beautiful woman would have power amongst other men, and they don't want individuals running around society who have personal power. And so one way is to make everyone look the same. Put a barcode on us, dress us all alike, and we have no personality and no ability to stand against the state. So what am, I, I'm toying with the idea now that it has more to do with politicians trying to secure their power and to reduce all of us to basically workers who have no soul. 